Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 3 of season 2 of Avatar The Legend of Korra. And this is going to be fun because uh, we left off in kind of a pickle. To sum up, previously Korra and Unalak and uh, her... Yeah, her uncle Unalak and her father and the squad, like Mako and Bolin, and others, they went to the actual South Pole on the solstice uh, to open a portal to the spirit world because it had been closed off and uh, needed to be opened because there was like stuff was going on because of it. Like the spirits were upset. We managed to do that, but uh, when we returned to the South uh, Tribe uh, city, uh, Unalak had uh, troops come in. Unalak invaded, essentially. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what comes of that. Like, I was suspicious of Unalak. The, just, I don't know, was something about the way he acted that just made me distrust him. He had a way about him that was like, yeah, I think you were supposed to distrust him. That he was, like, um, upset at people not behaving the way he thought they should behave. And he was uh, very prepared to force people to behave correctly. And um, that's what he's doing. So he has his, uh, his forces invade. And uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how that plays out. So yeah, let's go find out, shall we? Although before we start, I just want to mention, if you want this early, like really early, uh, uh, check out Patreon, because on Patreon I am at least a full season ahead. And on Patreon I also do full episode reactions. They are not edited down like here on YouTube. So if you want it early or full uh, episode reactions, then check out Patreon. Link is available in the description down below. But with that said, let's get into episode 3 of season 2 of uh, Legend of Korra. And now the Northern Navy has landed on southern shores. What other plans does Unalak have for the Avatar? Cora man. She just like portal, let's punch it open. Yeah, here we go. And they're locking up the port. Like it blockading it, basically. Like it is an invasion. I can protect it. I need you for something more important. There is I don't like you in lack in the north. Not not even slightly. Freely between the north and the south. In a matter of seconds. But the solstice is okay. over. How am I gonna... How are people going to be able to move that fast? With both portals open, our tribes will be united again. The world yeah. will be united again. But, no wait. But if the south portal was closed because of the, they, lost their, they lost their way, then why is the north closed? Because Unilak is there to show them how to return to their ways. I don't know. Vacation Tenzin has finally decided to join us. <laughs> yes, he Tenzin is such a granddad. Uh, I think your memory's a little foggy. Boomy and I weren't on those great vacations. It was always just you and Dad. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's why they were great. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Uncle Boomy. Do you have a baby in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids, man. <sighs> they have no filter. But the bison told us not to worry because a giant was coming. Then we almost got eaten by a shark squid. Kids, man. The way they tell stories. Iki couldn't have gone far. I'll find her. Commander Boomy reporting for duty. Search and rescue missions are my special. <laughs> it's going to be great to have you. Take down that shark squid once and for all. Sounds yeah. good. I know these last few days have been very troubling. This is shocking. Nay, sickening! But these kale cookies? Opposite. Remind me to get the recipe. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. He's funny. The only spirit I'm interested in restoring is our spirit of independence. Am I right, people? Yes. Yeah, indeed. Fight for our freedom! Yeah. You want to start a war? Are you crazy? Unalak started this, yeah. not us. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, Cora. It's kind of Unilak who started the conflict. He kind of invaded. 
We all know where this conflict is heading. We need to start preparing for war. I hold immense dislike for the South. Oh, these people. <laughs> Go in. Oh. My humor is quick. Yes, dear. <laughs> yeah. Ah, very, very funny. Oh, Bolin. It's been really great getting to know you. Oh, has it. But you will be coming with me to the north. There we will live the rest of our lives together in icy bliss. Foolish Bolin. <laughs> Foolish Bolin. <laughs> oh. Uh, hey, if you're that unhappy, just break up with her. Yeah. Break up with her. You could do that? Yeah. You can. You just gotta rip it off and get it over with. You'll feel a lot better afterwards, trust me. Thanks, Marco. Yeah, this isn't ominous at all, sitting there in the darkness, brooding. I understand why you brought your troops here, but I'm afraid it's sending the wrong message. Your father has been talking. I think it's sending the exactly correct message. It's sending the message that I'm taking over. A lot of Southerners feel like their tribe is being invaded. Because it is. Chief. Are you though? Isn't he just the chief of the northern tribe? There could be a civil war. If the water tribes were at war. Yeah, see, exactly. The, the water tribes. So it's two tribes. It's not one tribe. You're just chief of the north. I'm usually the one starting fights. Yeah, you are. Stop them from happening. As the Avatar, you must remain neutral in this conflict. Tenzin lacked faith in you. But mm -hmm. I have no doubt you will become the most admired avatar the world has ever known. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah, I don't know about that. Like Aang, for instance, had uh, he ended a war that lasted for a hundred years and he brought peace to the to the world. Like that's gonna be hard to top. That's a bit overkill. Pick on a water bender your own size. Yeah, exactly. Pick on someone your own size. We thought you were one of us. I'm not taking anyone's side. I don't... Hey! You are the worst I'm confused, to be honest. They're not worth our trouble. Go back to your homes. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you settle people down. Iki! Iki! And this. Over here, Dad! <laughs> Just kidding, it's me! Oh, I would have never guessed, Booby. <laughs> Busy with your duty to Republic City that you forgot about your duty to your kids. Yeah. <laughs> duty. What are uh, you? I think that happens a lot. He was so focused on saving the world and doing his duty. Don't laugh. That he never had time for us. <laughs> uh, was under a lot of pressure. Booby is so mature. <laughs> Dad loved us all equally. Yeah, but you had... You were... Not the same. Tenzin was the future of airbenders. See what he's doing there, Boomy? Classic airbender technique. Cutting and running when things get tough. <laughs> yeah, evade. <Yeah>. Don't, <laughs> don't confront. <laughs> just dodge. <laughs> and I didn't ask for my father's help. Can't he just let me be the avatar? Uh, Do you know how to be the avatar? Or, or I mean, I guess just being is being the avatar. Like, sh you don't have to do anything. She is the avatar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this fun, huh? <laughs> no. No, Bolin. Excuse us while we retrieve more sustenance. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's wrong with those people. So it was more like you tugged at the leech. Yeah. Yes, over and over and over, but it won't come off. Why didn't you warn me? <laughs> I'm very bad at reading people. You should know that by now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Man. But I mean... Uh. Yeah, I don't see. I don't understand what you saw in her, Bolin. <laughs> Here we go. For five yeah. days we scoured that beast of a mountain, fighting our way through blizzards, sandstorms, and three typhoons. <laughs> blizzards and sandstorms. Wow. And three typhoons. I'm sick of your far-fetched tales. Three typhoons. Well, I may have thrown in an extra typhoon or two for dramatic effect. <laughs> yes, it's called artistic license, Tenzin. <laughs> it should be no problem for a couple of benders. Fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it should be no problem for a benders. And it isn't. You were right, Boomy. That was faster. <laughs> At least 50 
times faster. Unalak told me everything. How Dad and Tenzin kept me trapped down here while I trained. Yeah, they did Dad do that. Vanished from the north. I don't know about that. I don't know why that's such a big deal that he got kicked out. But everyone keeps holding me back, even my own parents. Unalak's the only one who believes in me. That's not true, Cora. No, it's not true. I think Unalak just wants to use you. He asked your father to join, and Dad is part of a rebellion. I don't know, but I don't want you getting caught in the middle of it. It's too late, Mom. I don't get it. Like we'll talk about it after, but I, I don't. I don't know. There's something wrong. I might have misunderstood something. Oh, here we go. Kidnapping Dad. going on. Dad, don't do this. Turn around, Avatar. We can hmm. still avoid a war. No, we can't. Like the dad didn't answer, so might not be dad. Although he did look a bit like the eyes kind of looked like him. But I think that's the point. You're supposed We're to think it's dad, the and then tribe. it's not. I don't want to hurt you. <sighs> See, she just like in one second she says they say tribes in this like as two separate tribes and then they say part of the same tribe as in like one and i don't get it Ooh. i like that animation that was well done nice yeah see who are you not that find Varric. I want him to freeze in prison with the rest of these traitors. <laughs> Freaking capitalists, man. <laughs> They're stopping me from earning money. We have to do something right now. I will respect the Avatar's wishes in this matter. Yeah, but your natural inclination was to be a dictator. You're still trying to prove you can do everything a bender can. Well, you can't. Deal with it. And you're not our mother. I had to become the responsible one. You think you're the responsible one? Oh, boo-hoo. Must have been real hard for you, flying around the world with Dad riding elephant koi all day. Yeah, I'm sure it was pretty... it is pretty hard. You think you're some savior who has to carry on Dad's legacy. Who else is going to do it? How about all of us? Yeah, but it's... It's, dif it's, it's different. And this is probably like exactly what happened with Tenzin's kids. Like, it's, it's a parallel. Like, these siblings are arguing and, like, siblings argue, you know? We heard what happened. Are you okay? Yeah, she is. She's fine. And for all the pain I've caused you and Mom. I'm the one who should apologize. After I saw mm. the Southern Lights return, I was so proud of you. This is nice. Parent, man. They want what's best for the kids, but they don't always know what's best. You can just do the best you can, you know? We weren't expecting you. Tonrock, Senna, you are under arrest and will stand trial. Trial? For what? For conspiring to assassinate me. Yeah, of course you would think that. Like, that ending was so incredibly unsurprising. <laughs> like, of course he would think that. It's like, th this episode was like, all about misunderstandings between siblings. Between... Oh, I'm gonna try to remember it, but I'm so bad at names. Tonrak, uh, Korra's dad. Between Tonrak and Yunlak, and between, I'm sure, Iki and her siblings, and between Tenzin and his siblings. Like, it's, it's all about misunderstandings. It's not easy, I guess. Like, I, I, I know what that's like. Like, of course, parents like love their kids equally, um, but in this case, it is so very different because, like, for Aang, I'm assuming, like, you can you can hope that the best for for your kids and hope that they like carry on your legacy and stuff. But in the case of Tenzin, he is the one who has who is an Airbender, like he is the only he is the future of airbending in like in total and he is like the future of i'm kind of guessing the avatar as well because like if you're lacking one of the four then can the avatar even still exist like he is and the avatar is the key to keeping balance in the world so like without tensin 
then the world is screwed. Like there, there is a difference in importance between Tenzin and Kai and Bumi. So like it's, it can't have been an easy situation to be in to be Ang in that situation. And yeah, like I don't know what the right answer is, what the right thing to do is. Like as I've gotten older, I've gotten more and more appreciation for my parents. Like because parents do their best. You don't know what the best choice is. Like that's that's true for everything in life. You you can only make the best decisions you can with the knowledge you have at the time. Like you don't know if it's going to be the right one. You don't like know what's going to happen. You just do your best, and I'm sure Ang did too. And it's like, but was it the right choices? Who knows? I don't know if I'm misunderstanding something. I'm thinking now. I'm thinking about the water tribe or water tribes. It was unclear, for instance, in this episode why people were so okay with the invasion. Like, I thought that there was a north tribe and a south tribe, a northern and a southern, and they were different. They had, they were each sovereign, like they had their own leaders, and they were like related, but not the same. And like, and then in one second, Korra says like, you're all part of the same tribe. And then, like, we have to work to unite our tribes. As in, like, so are you the same tribe or are you not? Like, that's unclear to me. Because, like, I can very much understand the lack of reaction to uh, the aggression by Unilak if it is one tribe. Like, if it is just, like, if the South is just, like, an enclave of the North, and the North is, like, the main tribe, and the South is just, like, a... Uh, yeah, an outpost, essentially, of the of the north, uh, kind of like Britain and uh, North America, like back in or America, back in the day. Like in that case, it's like you belong to us, like the the south belongs to the north, and uh, Unilak is the chief of the water tribe. There's just one. In that case, what happens here makes sense that there's so little reaction. You're like, yeah, we're technically one and the same tribe, but you're pushing it a bit too far now with this like uh, military presence. But the way I've understood it is that they are two separate tribes. And in if they are two separate tribes that are sovereign, then what Yunlak is doing is essentially an invasion. He's invading a foreign, foreign nation. I don't know, please help me figure this out because I don't I don't understand it yeah I'm curious to see what happens next but that's for a different day for today I'm done uh, I thank you very very much for joining me and hopefully I will see you in the next video until then peace out <laughs>